After this traumatic experience, I was often terrified to tears when I heard loud noises. I cannot help but relieve the events which loom large in my everyday life. I often felt strong disgust and shame towards my body to the point it made me suicidal. I tried to take my own life three times. I was treated at a psychiatric hospital and diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder. I considered seeking help and telling the truth. However, I fear revenge by the police. If I file a complaint, I could be singled out and prosecuted. I feel helpless and no lawyer would dare to protect me. I did not know how long this order would last and did if this order would happen to me again. I would take up at the police station for more than 20 hours. To this very day, I'm still traumatized. The memories in the police station and holding center still haunt me. We current nightmares in which I will live the humiliation and abuse during detention have become a fact of life. As I came forward publicly to demand accountability, I received menacing phone calls, death threats, and was cyberbullied. Despite all, nobody can stop me from pursuing justice. It is not only justice for me alone, but justice for every Hong Kong citizen, because many are also victims, survivors of police violence, and all of us are subject to further abuse of power. Truth and justice are what we need to live our lives without fear. I always have nightmares about the incident. I feel hopeless after the incident. I have no trust in the current complaint system. What I can do is to tell myself I'm strong. I can get over it. Time heals everything. My underwear was exposed and caught on the cameras of mass media. It is clear that these male police officers were using disproportionate and unnecessary force. They tried to humiliate and intimidate me, but I will not back down. I'm lucky in the sense that my case was caught on cameras. That can prove sexual violence really happened on me. 曾經有一段時間誒困咗喺屋企嗰度咯，唔想見人，同埋唔想同人溝通，唔希望將自己嘅負面情緒誒 pass 俾身邊嘅人咯。最主要其實唔想重温當日發生過嘅畫面。一個體制係一個侵蝕人權、民主、自由嘅病毒。香港係有責任提醒全世界，一旦被入侵，你要有犧牲自己同埋下幾代嘅自由人權準備。This is our demand. What happened to us should never happen to another person, especially a teenager in Hong Kong. But we know it is doomed to happen again and more when the Chinese Communist Party takes over Hong Kong. Therefore, we appeal to you, America, the leader of the free world. We share 
the same value and ideology as yours. We believe in freedom, democracy, equality, and human rights. We, the youth of Hong Kong, are the front line of your battle against communism. We have done everything we can, and now we need your help. Please stand with us, and we will light the way for a new China to come into the world. Sanction all perpetrators and remove the Communist Party from Hong Kong once and for all. Dear world, this time kill us all. Never forgive, never forget. Hong Kongers will never surrender. Let's stand together in this fight for justice. Stand with Hong Kong. Fight for freedom. Liberate Hong Kong. Revolution of our times. We, we are, are calling, calling for, for your, your help. help.